missed the entrance. As you can tell, it took a very, very long time to do all this. But it was well, well worth it. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be our official base where we found a little nice land. I wanted a basically a front entrance where I can build a base or a castle, whatever you want to call it, that leads straight down to the water. The goal is here. I like this entrance right here. Let me show you guys. This is pretty cool. And entering here, you, we're going to basically make a little uh, port for the ship. And I'm going to make a road that goes up here leads to the main base now i'm gonna expand this now i'm just leveling out the ground as you can tell there's gonna be a lot of lot of work done here well, that's not good we gotta raise the ground here Noise, noise. So we're going to start off with the front entrance. Of course, you know, like I said earlier, this is going to lead all the way down to the docking area. Don't mind that, my friend. Or something. I don't know. Don't. I don't. I don't ask questions. Either. Like, what things of that? Our other plan is basically when I get done with this, I make a road down here. This is where our animals are going to be. I really like that I found this base right here because this looks cool. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Bing bong, it's our little tour. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final finale of the Bad Castle and the build, which is part three. And some of you have been asking for it, so I wanted to do it myself and as well for you guys that are actually um, into this type of stuff. So this is a lot of, lot of time. Now the just the exterior part is mostly done. I didn't do anything with the interior, so you know we still have a lot of work with that. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Bat Castle. This is our first glance, as well as you can tell, uh, this is the entrance to the castle. We have the boat dock, the Bat Dock. Sorry, we, do we got the Bat Coliseum. We'll get into that. That's our next project. Uh, but yeah, this is the entrance. As you can tell, it took a very very long time to do all this but it was well well worth it now entering the back castle uh as you can tell there's a lot of uh these pointy uh, stones as well you know it looks like little uh, bat ears to me at least you know the entrance is amazing the castle uh let me just do a little fly around yes i can fly i am him don't doubt me i'm giga chad do you know giga chad yeah uh, so starting with the right uh, wing of the castle now you're wondering why do you have bars here you know like what's going on here now this is supposed to be a club an adult club yes I don't know why but I thought it was just a fun little add-on and um, it goes around to the archers uh, base and we go around to the castle that's the second floor right here this is a, another room entrance to this uh, room and another archer's base so today we are just focusing around the castle itself now like I said welcome to the entrance this is the way you come in the view man it's the views for me it's the views for me chat it's beautiful so opening the door huge doors yeah I know they go through the wall I wanted to make it like that it looks kind of cool yeah it's kind of like small entrance right here but to the right side it's open space i don't know what i'm going to do with this might leave it uh open just for now to the left is one of the massive bedrooms we have a couple of them made a little spacious here for a person who wants to move in you know nice little views again like i said i didn't do anything yet with the interior we're going to get to that here this is the only room i fixed up for one of my good friends but he decided not to take it you know he's a loner that's why he put his bed here no not give him everything and like uh basically freeman's room right here uh just did a little you know here and there touch-ups just to uh get the comfort zone up you know so 
head into the second floor of the castle. Now the second floor is the king's room only. That's why there's only one entrance to it. Close that and welcome to the king's room of the bat. Now this is official room. Uh, you step to the balcony. You got a nice beautiful view of you know everything down there. The bat dock and the bat coliseum as well. The club. Uh, you know, it's all, you know, it all goes together. So, the back right here, as you guys know, this was uh, open before. Uh, I decided to close and make another room. Just uh, gave myself a little balcony here. And to go upstairs, upstairs really is not much yet. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I have this little secret hideout right here. I don't know why I made it, but just for the fun of it, you know. So, going all the way up. It's basically a 360 balcony that I want to uh, have a whole view of everything around the castle. So which I thought it was a nice little add-on. Um, another balcony just to overview everything in the back. You know. So um, that's how far we got. Of course I had to add the bat years. You know. I can't be a bat castle without the bat years. I think these ears just you know made it perfect perfect in my opinion you know so um yeah we have that going on right now let me show you this room down here so down here i was gonna basically um make stairs from marble and i was looking at it, it didn't look right and i thought about the spiral staircase and adding these little basically bars which kind of you know looks better than doesn't look as tacky now entering this room, this one giant room right here we got. Um, didn't finish building like I said. Still have to do a lot of add-ons, but we'll get to that eventually. Exiting this room takes you to this uh, little tower. You go up the spiral staircase and of course you got a beautiful view of the castle. Over there is going to be nice. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for right now. You know, you can jump over if you want. You know, I have to expand all this a little bit more. But on that note, I think that is our final build for the castle. Now, the outside, everything, we're getting to it slowly. As you guys can tell, I did more expanding, uh, putting more room down here. And uh, I really, really love, love what I did with this uh, wall right here. I didn't completely close it all together. I left space. You know, uh, you can, uh, down here, basically I'm going to have open windows, these top blocks, I'm going to put a lot of steps, uh, then, uh, you know, just for archers or shooters, whatever. Then you can walk through here, and this goes all around the base. And, uh, you have another view of, you know, everything around the castle, which is pretty neat, in my opinion. We have... Everything for crafting. I left everything outside. I didn't want to put everything inside the castle. You know, I want to leave it more spacious, just like the old days. You know, you got crafting all around. So, uh, which I thought was pretty neat. You know, just keeping it like old school as much as I can. A little, you know, modern details. So yeah, like I said, these uh, walls they go all around. Which is probably one of my favorite add-ons that I did to the castle. Now, my ideas came from nobody. I just started doing this, you know, out of, I guess, uh, my own uh, mind. And I had a picture how I wanted it. And it came out the way I really uh, looked at it. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, on that note, thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't yet, please hit that like, subscribe. Uh, let me know if you guys uh, want a tour of the Coliseum or the Bat Dock. So, um... Uh, that might be in the upcoming videos. On that note, thank you all. Appreciate you all. Bye.